Lisa Vekushish. I'm the principal IIT analyst at GSM Intelligence, and I'm going to be talking about enterprise IIT or the wider industry X uh, topic. Um, so what is really important to notice is that IoT is happening. IoT is really, really happening. What we see is the reality deployments are happening, not only in on their own, but the part of the wider digital transformation, part of Industry X. And that's what we were supposed to discuss during the MWC uh, 2020. So let me walk you through some of the findings from our IT Enterprise Survey and, and what is our thinking about the drivers behind enterprise IT adoption. So Industry 4.0 will drive uh, IoT. So out of total of almost 25 billion in 2025, we predict that almost 54% will come from enterprise sectors. So 11.3 billion by 2025 will be deployments across multiple enterprises. So utilities, manufacturing, uh, smart buildings, and so on. And, and the reason why this is, this is growing is because digital transformation, it, transformations on agenda of multiple enterprises. So in our IoT Enterprise Survey, we did ask questions whether or not the deployment was a standalone initiative driven by headquarters, is it, is it pretty much you know, just a local champion or, or is it wider agenda? And 65% of enterprises said that the IoT deployment was driven by digital transformation agenda. So this is what's really, really happening and, and the scale is, is out there. Uh, but when we talk about IoT, we're not only talking about connected devices. We see the device, uh, devices are growing, the number of deployments uh, is growing, and also the size of deployments growing. So um, last year when we ran the survey, 74% of all deployments were under 500 enterprises. This year, um, what we see, it is uh, less than 70%, so 69%. So definitely the deployments are scaling up, slowly but they are scaling but what i really want to talk about uh, when it comes to iot enterprise iot in particular is data data is the new currency big data data is very very important when it comes to iot because after you connect device you need to be able to utilize that data so the reason why you connect device is to get new insights new intelligence and at the end of it when you connect then you analyze the data and you can create new business models. You can uh, save money, um, increase operational efficiency, but the ultimate goal is to change business processes. So data, very, very important when it comes to IoT. The reason why we connect the devices is to get the data and that intelligence. So it's all great, the problem is coming up, but there are still challenges remaining. One of the top challenges that we see happening at the moment is integration. So integration, it is important because you have the old legacy systems with new systems coming together and IT and OT having to be integrated. It is still a challenge, especially for larger enterprises that have deployments in the field for quite, a, quite some time. Uh, another challenge is data, uh, data privacy and security. Obviously, this is not going to go away on its own. There's, there's quite a lot of initiatives um, currently happening to ensure security and, and privacy. And, and the last but not least is cost. So cost, it is quite profit, prohibitive uh, for some of the, especially small enterprises when, when, they, uh, when they roll out. Um, what is very important to note is our survey run across enterprises that are over 20 employees and less than 30% of those they said the return on investment is something that the, is a challenge. The reason why is because they're already deployed, there are the small deployments, but talking to the industry still, return on investment is one of the key barriers when it comes to actually starting the deployments. So being able to actually deploy, you need to understand what sort of benefits IT will bring. So we talk quite a lot about the, the challenges, the benefits and, and so on, but last but not least, really important is the ecosystem has to come together in order for, for IoT to happen, for digital transformation to happen. So uh, we have players across multiple different segments, so connectivity, hardware, platforms, uh, cloud, um, professional services, integration, so on, working together to enable scale, to bring the services to market faster and also to enable enterprises to get that, that blueprint and be able to de de deploy.